that's a motion, only members of the union can make a motion. I so move. Second. You have heard the motion. The floor is open for debate. Señor Presidente, si permitimos que nuestras mujeres se mezclen en este asunto, nos vamos a convertir en la burla de todo el movimiento obrero. Hermano, te equivoco de eso. Las hermanas pueden ayudarnos a nosotros. Ellas no se manchan con el ayudarnos a nosotros. Son nuestras compañeras. ¿Y qué es peor? Luz asked him which was worse, to hide behind a woman's skirt or go down on his knees before the boss. Brothers, we don't count enough on our women. The bosses don't count on them at all. Will the bosses win now? Because there is no unity between the men, their wives, and their sisters? Carlota Sanchez said she didn't think picketing was proper for ladies. It wasn't nice. Maybe even a sin. I say let's give the sisters a chance. And what will happen when the cops come and beat our women up? Are we going to stand there and watch them? No. We'll take over anyway. And we'll be right back where we started. Only worse. Even more humiliated. Brothers. Brothers. I beg you. Don't allow this. Call the question. All right. The question's been called. You brothers know what you are voting on that the sisters of the auxiliary take over the picket line. All those in favor will so signify. Brother Chairman, point of order. I, uh, I don't know anything about uh, these questions of parliament. But um, you men are voting on something the women are to do or not to do. So I think it's only fair if the women be allowed to vote. Especially if they have to do the job. Brothers and sisters, it would be unconstitutional to permit women to vote at a union meeting. We could adjourn this meeting. No! No, no, no. Wait, wait. And reconvene this meeting as a community mass meeting with every adult entitled to a vote. I so move. All right. On the motion to adjourn, all those in favor will raise their hands. Aye. All those opposed. The ayes have it. Now every adult is entitled to a vote. Who won the original question? All those in favor that the sisters take over the picket line will so signify by raising their hands. The motion has carried 103 to 85. came from Sink Town and the hills beyond, from other mining camps, 10, 20, 30 miles away. Women we had never seen before, 
women who had nothing to do with the strike. Somehow they heard about the women's picket line, and they came. And the men came too. I think they were afraid. Afraid the women wouldn't stand fast. Or maybe afraid they would. But not all the women went to the picket line. Some were forbidden by their husbands. I was one of them. It's not fair. I should be there with them. After all, I'm the one who got the women the vote. The union don't run my house. Those Anglo Danes stirred you up to make fools of yourself. But you don't see any of them down there. Yes, I do. There's Ruth Barnes. She's the organizer's wife. She's got to be there. No, she wants to be there. And there is Mrs. Kalinsky. There's Jenkins' wife. You don't see her on no picket line. Anglo husbands can also be backward. Can be what? Backward. Can't I even put in an appearance? With a baby in your arms? The baby likes to be walked. It helps him burp. Hey, girls, wait a minute. Don't you want us to leave our pistol? Shut up. <laughs> What's so amusing? F-40, a court order. Oh, I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Alexander. Better the law, you know. All that injunction says is there's no picketing by minors. Whose side are you on, anyway? Ah, don't get excited. They'll scatter like quail. Well, let's get at it before another hundred dames shows up. Uh, all right, boys. What about these? Forget it. They'll scatter like quail. Standing there, do something. Relax. But women are getting hurt. We've got to take over. They're doing all right. Anyway, looks like you got your hands full. Oh, 